When we think about health risks, we usually picture smoking, pollution and maybe even lack of exercise. But according to a massive global study, spending 195 countries, there's one factor quietly causing more deaths than any other. Poor diet. Not just too much sugar or fat, but serious deficiencies in key life-sustaining foods. Today, we're diving deep into the five worst diet patterns that are silently killing millions of people every year, and it might just change how you think about your next meal. Let's get started. Number 1. Diets and high sodium. We often hear about the dangers of salt, but the real impact is much worse than most people realize. Excessive sodium intake is directly linked to high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke and even kidney failure. Worldwide, most people consume nearly double the recommended daily limit of sodium, largely from processed foods, restaurant meals and packaged snacks, not from the salt shaker at home. Foods like breads, pizza, canned soup, deli meats and sauces are absolutely loaded with hidden sodium. In fact, over 3 million deaths every year are attributed to high sodium diets alone. That's millions of heart attacks and strokes that could have been prevented by simply reducing hidden salt. What makes sodium particularly dangerous? is how easy it is to consume excessively without realizing it. Even foods that don't taste salty, like breakfast cereals, store-bought breads can have high sodium content. And once blood pressure rises silently over years, the damage is already done. Reducing sodium intake by just a small amount each day could prevent tens of thousands of deaths annually. Yet globally, this remains one of the hardest habits to break, because processed foods are so pervasive. Number 2. Diets low in whole grains. Whole grains like quinoa, oats and whole wheat are packed with fiber, vitamins, minerals and powerful plant compounds. These nutrients help regulate blood sugar, lower cholesterol and protect against heart disease, stroke and certain types of cancer. Yet modern diets have shifted dramatically towards refined grains. White bread, white rice, pastries, stripping away the nutrients and leaving mostly empty calories behind. Low intake of whole grains is now responsible for an estimated over 2 million deaths per year. And it's not just about eating more fiber, the whole grains deliver magnesium, B vitamins and dozens of other compounds that play a critical role in metabolism and immune health. The tragedy? Whole grains are incredibly accessible and affordable, yet marketing, tastes and preferences and habits keep steering people towards ultra-processed grain products. Simply swapping refined grains for whole grains at a few meals each day could lead to a profound drop in chronic disease risk. Fresh fruits are nature's ultimate multivitamin packed with fiber, antioxidants, potassium and bioactive compounds that reduce inflammation and stress throughout the body. The study found that diets low in fruit were responsible for over 2 million deaths annually. Think about that. Deaths that could have been prevented with just a couple more servings of fruit a day. Fruits like berries, apples, oranges, bananas and mangoes provide powerful protection against heart disease, diabetes, certain cancers and even cognitive decline. And yet, food consumption remains shockingly low in many parts of the world, especially in lower income populations where affordability and accessibility are major barriers. Even in wealthier countries, the fast pace of modern life means many people grab processed snacks over simple, nutritious fruits. Adding just one or two pieces of fruit daily could dramatically reduce the risk of early death. But for millions, that small change still isn't happening. It's not just about personal failure, it's a systematic problem. Fresh, high-quality fruits need to be more affordable, more available and more prioritized. At home, in schools and everywhere food decisions are made. Number 4. Diets low in nuts and seeds. Despite years of fat phobia lingering from the past, nuts and seeds are now recognized as some of the healthiest foods on the planet. Almonds, walnuts, pistachios, they deliver healthy fats, protein, fiber, magnesium and anti-inflammatory compounds that protect the heart, the brain and beyond. Shockingly, low intake of nuts and seeds was associated with over 2 million deaths annually. Many people still fear the nuts are fattening, when in reality, regular nut consumption is linked with lower rates of obesity, heart disease, diabetes and even certain cancers. 
and it doesn't take much, just a small handful of nuts or seeds that daily provides massive health benefits. But globally, nut consumption remains critically low, particularly in places where cost, cultural habits or lack of awareness creates barriers. Meanwhile, the snack industry continues to push highly processed alternatives packed with sugar and unhealthy fats, instead of simple, nutrient-dense options from nature. If nuts and seeds were promoted with even half the effort given to junk food, you could save millions of lives every year. Finally, at number 5, diets low in vegetables. Vegetables are among the most powerful disease-fighting foods available, rich in vitamins, minerals, fiber and so on, that work systematically to protect against virtually every chronic disease. Yet, across the globe, most people fall for below the recommended intake of vegetables. A study found that diets low in veggies contribute to over 1.8 billion deaths every year. Veggies like leafy greens, broccoli, carrots, peppers offer unique compounds that, that can suppress cancer development, reduce blood pressure, lower cholesterol and support gut health. But despite this, barriers like cost, taste preferences, time pressures and lack of food education have created a massive vegetable gap in diets worldwide. Fast food, processed meals and ultra-processed snacks dominate, while vegetables remain an afterthought, if they appear at all. Even when veggies are available, preparations habits often strip away their benefits, frying, overcooking or drowning them in salt and fat. The global shift towards convenient, calorie-dense, nutrient-poor foods has made it easier to ever to consume thousands of calories with virtually zero vegetable intake. The solution isn't just to tell people eat more veggies. It's about changing food environments, making vegetables more accessible, affordable, appealing and culturally integrated into daily meals. Building habits like adding a handful of spinach to a sandwich, snacking on carrots or blending greens into a smoothie could save lives on a massive scale. So let's quickly recap the 5 worst diet patterns for your health, according to the largest global dietary study ever conducted. Diets high in sodium, diets low in whole grains, diets low in fruits, diets low in nuts and seeds, diets low in vegetables. Together, these 5 diet patterns account for more deaths each year than smoking. That's shocking reality and one that demands urgent action. But here's the good news. These are modifiable risks. Unlike genetic disease or other uncontrollable factors, diet is something we can influence through personal choices, education, policy changes and shifts in how societies think about food. However, improving diets at a population level is no small task, but interventions like food labeling, media campaigns, pricing strategies and works at wellness programs have shown promise none have achieved the level of impact needed to turn the tide globally. One major reason? Most interventions will focus narrowly on individual behavior, telling people to make better choices, without addressing the food system itself. From agricultural practice to food manufacturing, marketing, pricing and distribution, our entire system currently makes unhealthy choices the easiest and the cheapest ones. Meaningful progress will require a whole system approach, supporting farmers to grow more fruits, veggies and whole grains, nuts and seeds, making these foods more affordable and accessible across all communities. Reformulating processed foods to reduce sodium content dramatically. Redesigning schools and workspace food environments to make the healthy choices the easy choice. Regulating marketing practices that push unhealthy foods, especially to children. Investing in public campaigns that promote not just avoidance of bad foods, but active encouragement to eat more of the good ones. There's also an environmental bonus. Shifting from unhealthy animal-based diets to more plant-based diets could reduce greenhouse gas emissions, land degradation and water use. Thus, improving diets globally isn't just about saving lives. It's about protecting the planet for future generations. At the same time, better, more accurate dietary data collection is urgently needed. Many countries still lack reliable information on how people actually eat. Without solid data, it's almost impossible to design effective interventions or track progress. New, validated methods of dietary assessment, better national food consumption, monitoring systems and collaboration across industries, governments and communities are crucial. In the end, the research is clear, a healthier world within reach, but it will require both individual action and collective change. Small shifts in what we put on our plates, more whole grains, fruits, veggies, nuts and seeds and less sodium, heavy processed foods could save millions of lives every year. The power to change the future of global health lies in something we all do every single day. Eat! Thanks for watching. If you found this eye-opening, make sure to like, subscribe and share with someone who cares about their health. 
because knowledge is the first step towards transformation. See you in the next video. This was Dennis. Bye.